It's too much. I, I'm, I'm gonna need these to get through this song. Now we can continue. What's up everybody? It's your man, Parker, DT Parker, and uh, I'm going to be listening to some music right now. BTS, uh, Cyphers 1 through 4. Um, I'm going to be listening to all four Cyphers back to back to back to back. Um, and this will be interesting because uh, I'm just going to be listening to the music, no video. Um, this is just the music and the lyrics, which will be kind of cool um, to just have that experience instead of having to... Uh, try to figure out and analyze and interpret the video, uh, which is often very, very deep and complex. So uh, let's get right into this. Uh, oh, but before we do, um, I got quite a few subscribers yesterday. I got like eight or 900. Um, and I wanna see if I can get a thousand subscribers today, just for fun. So like if I wake up tomorrow morning, I think I have like 22,000 subscribers right now. Like it'd be really cool if I woke up in the morning and it said 23,000 and you guys can look tomorrow morning as well. So if you guys wanna help me out uh, with my thousand subscribers in one day, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, tomorrow morning, I hopefully, hopefully I wake up and it says 23,000 subscribers for DT Parker. We'll see. Anyway, let's get right into this. This is uh, Cypher part one. Let's see, let's see what this is uh, all about. Let's see how this sounds. I haven't really heard them rap exclusively like this, so this will be interesting. I'm liking it so far. I guess it's, it's really featuring the two rappers, right? RM and Sugar. so yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, this is the first time I have ever heard rap in a different language. Very first time. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, okay. And J Hope raps a little bit too, huh? So he's there's it's not just the two. Cool 
You know, I'm seeing uh, a parallel between the the rappers, particularly Suga and, and RM as well, for that matter. They have a similar plight as uh, Eminem. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the American white guy rapper Eminem, <laughs> who's like hailed as one of the greatest rappers of all time and living currently. Um, as in terms of, um, they, uh, are fighting stereotypes, racial stereotypes. Um, uh, they're fighting, uh, the, the, the pop label that a lot of people try to put on them. Uh, just like they try to put on Eminem, uh, when he first entered the game because of his look. Uh, and I, like I've mentioned in videos before, people want to put people in categories It makes it easier for, for an individual when you can, uh, it, it, people just like to be able to put things in category. It makes things predictable. Um, they, people like to feel like they're in control. So it makes people feel, people feel more comfortable to just put people in nice, neat, compact categories um, when it's not even warranted. <laughs> so uh, I'm hearing a lot of their, um, a lot of their plight in, 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 a, in a very similar fashion as an Eminem, uh, in terms of the things I mentioned, the racial stereotypes, um, them not getting a fair shake, um, them not them not being taken seriously, and uh, and them being disrespected in a, in a lot of ways. So I like that. I like that edginess. Like I've said before, Sugar has a lot of edge, and RM does too for uh, too for that matter. And uh, I like really absorbing their lyrics here. It's, it gives you a lot of insight into uh, where they are mentally. These are great beats. See? They got a chip on their shoulder. I love that. Damn. This is awesome. I have never heard, I've never really heard uh, their lyrics before. And it's, uh, yeah, these guys have a chip on their shoulder. They are, they're, they seem to be tired of the disrespect. Um, Cause a lot of these are street, street guys like uh, RM and Sugar. they, you know, they're, they're street rappers and they, they want that, that street cred. And they don't necessarily seem to like uh, people putting them in a category that they don't really feel comfortable with. So they, every time it's, it's their turn to get on the mic, they kind of have that aggressive, in your face, uh, I'm going to show you type of uh, energy, type of attitude. And that's, that always makes for great hip hop. <laughs> Wow. 
Yeah, as as a an American, I have to really, really pay attention because he's switching back and forth between English and Korea, Korean so so quick that uh, yeah, I'm having to really, really pay attention and and be quick uh, myself just to be able to keep up. Uh, and his lyrics are really, really good. Um, so uh, something a little bit to get used to, but I think I'm I'm keeping up pretty nicely. This is a very, very uh, 90s hip-hop beat. Um, having listened to hip-hop for a long time, yeah, this, they're taking a lot of influences from the early 90s hip-hop beats. And I, that, that's a really refreshing thing to hear for me, because I love that era. Damn. He said hip hop con artist. Damn, flexing. They are going in. Wow, <laughs> okay. All right. These beats. It amazes me that, because this is a very, very aggressive and masculine segment right here, and they are, uh, and they appeal to such a um, a large female audience with a lot of their, you know, a lot of their charm and you know their and their and their and their singing voices and the, and the type of songs that they that, that they're really known for appeal to a lot of uh, a lot of females. But this particular, this, this cypher is a very, very aggressive and masculine sound. Um, and it's, it's pretty cool the way they can switch. They can go, they, they can switch from uh, one sound, which is a very softer sound, uh, to a, such a hard sound. It just, show, it just goes to show you their versatility and their range, that they're able to, it, it's, 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 it's impossible to pigeonhole these, these guys. You can't pigeonhole them. You can't put them in a, ca a category. You can't put them in a box because every time you try, they'll show you something completely different and they'll change the whole game on you. So I love how versatile BTS is, especially you know with these three in particular. It just adds a whole new dimension to the group that make it just it's that makes it impossible just to put them in one category. It'd be unfair to put them in just one category. Oh, 
It's cool that he he's right he, that he rhymes English words. He'll rhyme it with a Korean word. <laughs> it's almost unfair for him to be able to do that because most people can't use two different languages and rhyme them together. So it makes his uh it, it makes his his repertoire even that much larger. Hey, when you got it, you got it. Keep saying hip hop losers. Girls call him Pippy? What does that mean? What does that mean? And I'm loving how they don't care and or they don't they don't mind giving you a little bit of a little bit of braggadociousness. <laughs> they'll let you know that they're dope and they'll let you know who's on top. Hey, hip hop is the hip hop hip hop is the genre to do that and to let that out. So if you if you have an ego and you have some uh some machismo, hip hop is where you can let it all out. So hey, do your thing guys, do your thing. I love this. We're still in PG-13 YouTube. We're still in PG-13 range. All right. We're good, right? We're good, YouTube, right, right YouTube? All right, last one, part four. I like this sound. That is a tough ass beat. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.
Oh, I'm bumping this in the car. It's too much. I, I'm, I'm gonna need these to get through this song. Now we can continue. Let's go. I love that sugar scares scares me. Does he scare you? <laughs> he has that uh that really hard side. Like I wouldn't want to battle rap sugar. You know what I'm saying? This might be my favorite one on this whole thing. Yes! Oh, this is a banger. This is a banger. You can play this at the club. Man. That was dope. That was dope. Oh, yes. I've been I've been seeing a lot of you guys uh commenting saying I need to listen to the the ciphers. Um yeah, this was a good one. Man, I'd never really seen this uh this from them featured like this. So this was dope. You know. I like that hard masculine sound. That that aggressive. Sometimes you need a little bit of that. Switch it up a little bit. And they definitely brought it. <laughs> they brought that uber aggressive swag to the mic. And I'm liking that. My favorite one was, was the part four. That last one, that hit the hardest. That was dope. Woo! Feeling it, feeling it. All right. 
Well, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I will see you soon.